For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem that says find the distances x and y for equilibrium if f of 1 is equal to 800 newtons and f of 2 is equal to 1000 newtons. So all you gotta, really got to do is look at b. You got this force going right here and this force going right here. This force is equal to f1 and this force is equal to f1 because they're all the same chord. So these forces are both 800 newtons and 800 newtons. Then we got this angle right here. Let's call it this angle and this angle. Now, you know that the sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero. So f of one sine of this angle. Let's assume this orientation. Let's assume y is going up as x is going to the right. So f of one sine of theta minus f of one sine of the other angle is equal to zero. So f of 1 and f of 1 are the same. You can divide this whole equation by f of 1 and you get sine of theta minus sine of the other angle is equal to 0. So sine of theta is equal to sine of this angle. So these angles are the same. We can conclude. So now that we know that this angle, both of these angles are the same, we can do the sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero and we get the x component of the two forces the one going up and the one going down they have the same angle so minus two f of one cosine of theta plus f2 is equal to zero and you just replace f1 by 800 cosine of theta plus F2 and F2 you replace it by 1000 is equal to 0 so as you can see you only have one variable in this equation you solve for it and you get that theta is equal to 51.3 degrees now that you got the angle theta you can easily find um, you can easily find the values of x and y with the with the triangle. So you know that this angle right here is 51.3 degrees, right? And we know that this opposite right here is 2, and the distance from here to here is x. You know this is a right angle of 90 degrees, so you can easily find this angle because you know that the sum of these three angles is 180, the sum of the angles on the east side of a triangle add up to 180. So this comes out to be 38 Point sixty-eight degrees. Now that you have that, you can use the law of sines. To find the side that you're missing, you know that 2 over sine of 51.3 is equal to x over sine of 38.68. So when you solve for x, you get that x is equal to 1.601 .601 meters. And now that you have x is equal to 1.601, .601, I told you that these angles are the same. So by symmetry, you can tell that y is equal to 2 meters. It's simply symmetry. You can also use the law of sines again and find all this because you know that this angle right here is 51.3. You know that this angle right here is going to be the same thing, 38.68. So if you use the law signs, you're also going to find that this is 2. But I deduced that it was 2 since uh, they're all symmetrical. Both of the angles are the same and one of the sides is the same. They're both the same triangle, just projecting each other. So y is equal to 2 meters. Final answer. And x is equal to 1.601. .601. Final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.